hello. Let's see who this reading's for. Who this reading for today, spirit? It's for a Virgo. Hello, Virgos, if you're new to my channel. Welcome, I'm going to do a reading for you today, Virgo, and see what kind of energy pulls out, okay? Oh, it says you are a healer. Look at her, Virgo, you're a healer, Bridget. It's a, it looks like you got a little cauldron, maybe use a cauldron, or... And, uh, maybe you use stones. You're a healer, though. And you're, right now, you're in an emotional desert. You're feeling inactivity and isolated. But that's good. That's the only way to become a healer. Did you know that, my So don't, don't feel bad about it. Because you're a visionary. Look, you're a visionary. Emotep, emotep. So, Raw's helping you. You see the sun above Emotep's head? See? And, uh... Thought vibrations. This is about resonant choices, signature signals. So you know, this is talking about your thoughts vibrate out, vibrate out into the world. See, it's ting, 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 ting. What you think is what you'll get back. Now, listen, what I'm saying. I know what I'm talking about. So if you're thinking negatively, you're only gonna get that back. If you think positive, you're gonna get positive back. This is a journey guide. You might be having to travel and. Have a change in location, Virgo, out here. 22 may be of importance. Uh, let's see if I can get one more of these. Oh, but you're going to be a personal guide, see? Uh, you have a personal guide, a guardian angel, and a spirit family that wants to help you. See? Well, fire number 38. So, uh, your guardian angels has brought you to this journey where you might have to change your location, but this was about your choices and uh, what you was putting out into the world. You're a visionary, and all this inactivity and isolation just brought you about to being a healer. That's all it means, okay, you guys? This was omen to for you to be a healer. Maybe you're seeing a lot of bird formations around your house, but on a on a I believe this is where you can look out a window and can predict. You know, uh, this is just something that was meant to happen. Okay, it, you was meant to feel like isolated. You was meant to feel isolated because you was you was seeking a truth. You was trying to find answers, you know. Uh, maybe you use dowsing rods, but, I mean, you don't have to. It's just saying that you was seeking more answers. And visionary. Oh, you're a visionary. And look, it's telling you you're going to be fortuitous in this... Uh, new vision of yours whatever it is that you're doing and uh you will receive some high prize or award is what it's saying your happiness is intertwined with you with your outlook on life you know and you might soon be honored by someone that you respect okay fortune cookies and then this thought vibrations your thought vibrations and your resonant choices you're sending out for abundance at the moment okay and that might be why you have to travel and change. And it's telling you to, you need to create, maybe you're a writer, like a great writer. And you need to put your writing into action, you know. And, uh, and, and it's telling you to communicate with your guardian angels. Communicate, dictionary. So communicate with your angels, okay? Your angels is telling you to communicate right now. 
just about whatever you're wanting to bring about into life, you know, you're needing to inspire others. That's how you're going to be abundant and you're going to receive abundance from your writings and uh, it, you're going to be very fortunate because you you kept seeking out the truth, you know, and this, this is what was meant to be. This is what was meant to be. It was already written, you guys. That's all it means, okay? flexible and accommodate and adapt to being this healer you're needing to accommodate and adapt to it now and don't be a show off and boast and brag do not it said do not be a bragger okay spirit we won't you went and seeker said you're now it's isolation you're just seeking out the truth and it says omg when this is about your your energetic vibe you know your you're very spirited and lively. And spirit acknowledges you. And and that you might have you you might have had some built up emotions that you had to deal with, you know, and and you need to culminate culminate your vision and put it put it down on paper. Fortuitous you culmination of ideas that was built up in your brain is what was messing with you that's what it's meaning and fortuitous somebody is wanting to blend and infuse and incorporate with you somebody wants to help build your wealth Fargo they see you very patient and gradually steady growing might have a river still you're going to have a steady flow of abundance that's what it means and Coins, abundance, abundance. What else under abundance? These little cards, spirit. What about abundance with these little cards, spirit? Abundance. It just says pineapple, prairie, and grasslands. It says that. You're going to get some energizing energy sent towards you. You're, you will feel refreshing and enlivened by this energy. And you're going to get an opportunity. And you got to, and it's going to be revealed. And it says, yes, yes, yes. You're going to get some abundance. Yes. Ooh, and I got a lot of our going to be 809. <laughs> and. This is about peace, patience, and calm. So you know you gotta be you gotta be patient and calm, waiting on your money, and don't get in a tizzy, tizzy, tizzy. What about begin writing now? We have two for begin writing now. Spirit, yeah. begin writing now. Spirit, yeah, that's said. Uh, you've been, you've had, you was feeling stagnant. Dial up. Maybe somebody's connected to your internet and you, you need to stop being so easy going and laid back about this and look into it. That's what it's telling me. Okay. And communication. If somebody's hooked in on your internet, you need to be aware of it and let the law know, you know. This is about alligator. Contentious, threatening. Somebody might have some threatening communication coming out. And Chicken Nugget said, it's very childish, it's some childish communication. Some immature childish communication might be coming out, okay? Imagine that. You know, that happens to all of us. And I want to remind everybody this is for entertainment purposes only here on YouTube, okay? You got to take everything with a grain of salt. That's what that means, you guys, okay? That's all it means, you guys, okay? I know that much. So let's give you some of these. And see what it's going on today for you. 
You're gonna receive some money, but you gotta let them emotions flow. You gotta tell your truth, Virgo. Oh, and somebody... Somebody that might be coming up against you, Virgo, because you're a healer, they're wanting to... They're wanting you to be flexible and accommodate them and want to show off and boast and brag. But their eyes is on their way to the courthouse in the coffin, it said, okay? This is omen to happen. It was omen to happen. An emotional de desert, this always built up emotions and you feeling energetic and lively while seeking out the truth. You know, it's because you're a person of high honor, number 25. Uh, you, we all have to go through those feeling inactive times in our life, and that's okay. And what about visionary fortuitous? Oh, visionary fortuitous. Look, it's for you, Virgo. You pulled out, Virgo. This is about your methods and for the healing power of and analyze, the analyzing of your thoughts. You know, this is uh, resulting from the perfectionism of you, Virgo. And you're, this is about serving others and the details of what you must do, Virgo. That's how you're going to get this gift. All right, this is about your healing power. Healer, healer, Virgo. <laughs> oh, but you're going to receive it. If you all blend and infuse and incorporate your all's ideas together, you and your partner, you're going to receive this gift. This gift of steady flow money is coming to you, okay? And what about abundance? It already says stay calm and peaceful and patient. Uh, you might have to go to court with somebody. Um, maybe somebody owes you some money. Oh, it could be you, Divine Feminine, Mature Woman, if you're a Virgo. You're going to receive adjudication, Mature Woman. Begin writing now because you're easygoing and... Ooh, it's saying you better expect this sudden wealth because it's coming to you, babe, babe, bloom, blam. Look our Virgo women's. Ooh, you better start writing. If you're a good writer, you need to start writing and communicate. Communicate to your spirit family so they'll show you, okay? But remember, there was some threatening communication that may come out from a childish person, and they need to change that way of, or you do, Virgo, you need to change that way of communicating because, look, Great fortune. Change. Change means you might have had to change in location. Remember, I already said it. You might have to move to get this good fortune. That's the only way you're going to get it. All right. Wow. That come out pretty cute, didn't it? That come out pretty cute, didn't it, you guys? I think so. Um, I'm trying to think of something yet. I'm sorry my phone looks like this today. I don't know why. It looks like foggy or smoky. I don't know if I got it wet or something. Ooh, maybe you know a Gemini Virgo. This is about your Gemini's is about personality. It's very logical, clever, and skillful. You love mental pursuits and learning new things and very curious. Maybe you got Gemini in your chart. Uh what else? said this man could feel intimidated by your strong willpower they never saw a woman who is as strong as you were yes i can so they some uh, gemini around that is intimidated by you virgo maybe this won't be for everybody just take the parts that go with you and throw out the rest you guys don't take always the heart but somebody you always feel guilty if you have to leave a person behind that you care deeply for Maybe somebody thinks that you're leaving them, or maybe you think it's Virgo, I don't know, but maybe you're wanting to leave somebody, but it said, when you are ascending, you have to clear up all your psychological issues inside of your brain to rise up, so maybe somebody's teaching you this that you care deeply about, and it says drama is all these karmics is known for, so this is a karmic, a karmic in your life, and 
It said when you've paid your karmic debt off, then leave the damn narcissist in the dust. So there was a narcissist to you, Virgo. Virgo Divine Feminine, there was a narcissist to you in your life, and you must have cared deeply for this narcissist. And it says, every time I see you, my heart about races plumb out of my chest. It's a very intense feeling when I see you walk by. Your heart's over racing and beating in it. So, maybe that's your new person, you know. And it says, these group of people that you used to work for was talking and telling your business to anyone who listened to them in this group. Whisper, whisper. Somebody's whispering about... Somebody's whispering about your life at the moment. They have nothing better to do than to sit around and gossip and glab and get goober and goober around and look and stalk at you. That's all they know how to damn do. And I know one thing. One plus one don't equal three. They, some person already has another gal on the side and they lie to you from the get-go. That's why you're going to receive money from the courthouse, mature woman, when you get off your fucking ass and leave. Okay? Because you are a lucky you person. This usually only comes out for Aquarius in my readings. But you're attracting well, Virgo. Oh, wow. And I am too because I got Virgo. I'm going to call it Virgo Moon. And some of my birth chart says I got five Virgos. And then someone says I got five Libras. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to read this too with me. Some of it in it. And when you see Chiron in your birth chart, just know that Karma is being delivered by the wounded healer, Comet Chiron. When you see that KO symbol, that's what it means. So karma's coming to this person that was cheating on you and lying behind, lying to you, mature woman. Like, you know, I'm a mature woman. And if somebody lied to me and they had another person on the side, um, yeah, no, I would divorce them. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this person is nervous as hell when you come into contact with him or her. They're shaky. So, somebody's nervous when you come in contact with them because they know they're guilty of something. Oh, no, this could be your divine masculine. Divine masculine loves you or divine feminine Libra Taurus. <laughs> and they know they had to clean up their brain to rise up. And they also know that somebody that's in a legal system... Uh, maybe a lawyer caught master is dealing with these karmic okay they was part of karmic family maybe in this and uh, some person had to endure incest over and over again because they're, they're uh, whoever they told didn't believe them and they wasn't there for you ain't that sad and leave the narcissist it said uh somebody just wanted what you have they see you as a wealthy in the physical and in the spiritual wealth but use your discernment with this person okay virgo and hearts are wasting a thousand miles an hour hearts are wasting oh it's sad That didn't make no sense, I know. What about your heart to race on a racing, racing heart, racing, racing heart? Hang on, it gives so many. Heart to racing. Because, uh, it could be a person of influence in your community and people like to listen to you because you've had a hard life and you that you've lived in. You can help steer the younger generations to their goals and dreams. Oh, wow, that's good. And whisper, whisper, gossip. Uh, it said this person at your job uh, might have been taking money and telling other people that you might have been taking it. No, no, ain't that something? And somebody's got another gal on the side, and it says let go of a person who has control over your life, but yet that same person only wants you to be scared and not ask them why they have no trust over their selves. Did you hear that? That's, but you know they they want to they want to act like 
you're the only one with trust issues, yet they have trust issues because they're screwing someone behind your back, okay? That's what it means. Exactly what it means. Exactly what it means, bye bye. Hang on, I'm gonna do some Egypt, some puzzle time. You did some puzzle time. My idea. I didn't make the cards, but I did write a story on them. And I made the letters bigger so you guys can see. So let's see what it says today, okay? What's something that we need to know about this healer? Could you tell us? And our guardian angels, could you tell us? Uh, M. This is about take a chance. M B C H. This is about having remorse, uh, domesticity, promises, enterprises, uh, impediments, developing your own efficiency, keeper of home and honor, generosity, R, satisfactory definitions in the end results. It says you're a <laughs> you are a that's what it says you're a you're a what you're a what you're a you're a OG let me guess you're a OG <laughs> wouldn't that be funny you're a OG you're oi you're a oi you're a oi you're a oi you're a oi you're all right you're all right that's what it said and Hang on, I'm gonna get out some letters and then I'll spell with it what it says if I can. Let's see if I can spell something real fast. Mob. Maybe they somebody in the mob that you used to work for. <laughs> uh, that's weird. And they're on a. Hang on. This person that's in the mob is on a rant. R A N T at the moment. They're on a rant. And. That's all I can spell right now, hang on. What's this person in the mob on a rent about? Your letters that'll spell. They're on a rent about me, it says. They're on a rent about me. They're on a rent about my or me. There's another why. A mob is on the rant. Okay, let's see what else it says. May. This mob may rat, rat, be on a rant, like I just said. Or that could be your name, like May. Or that could be when all this weird whatever's going on in your life started happening, okay? You'll, you, you're the one has to know that part. Let's see what else it says. Oh, I see some. They're on their way to H E double husky sticks. Hell, this mob that made me on a rant is on their way to hell. Don't worry. And It 
also says July, J-U-L-Y. So May and July is coming out, you guys, okay? I don't have a C, but just go with it. C H U K. Maybe someone's name is Chuck. That's in the mall that's on a rant. Hang on. Hang on, right? I don't know. Let's see. What are you trying to spell? I got S H. What are you trying to spell? Z. S H O. something in a line and I'm going to spell it what it spelled. It says shove, S-H-O-V. I'm going to put it over here with hell. Somebody's getting shoved to hell, it said, okay? Someone is getting shoved to hell. P.S. 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 Don't forget what I just said, you guys. And this don't spell nothing over here. Okay, so it says... So it says, P.S. Chuck. Chuck may... have been Chuck that is in the mall but may have went on a rant in July and got shoved to hell. P.S. <laughs> what did that mean, you guys? I don't know, but someday somebody's going to know what this means. I don't have a lot of people on my channel right now, and that's why I need help growing it. So, remember, I get to say it said, P.S. Uh, this Chuck that's in a mob may have went off on a rant in July and and there and he's getting ready to be shoved down to hell. Did you hear that? Now spirit spelled it and I done showed y'all. And that might be who you gotta go to court with. I don't know. And well maybe they killed somebody since that coffin come out. Maybe you gotta go to court over it or something. I don't know, Virgo. This was weird <laughs> Let's see. Let me get you one of these little messages. See what it says. Do we have a little message? Hang on, I'll read it to you. What else? Look, you're gonna have you got hope in big water right now, you know. You got somebody's got some hope that you're all gonna come together and they got big emotions for you and it could be somebody with a birthday number twenty and they want to come to your house. They have 
apart with a key. They want to feel tenderness with you and build a family with you. And they want to cherish and feel joy and love with you. Oh, ain't that something? <clears throat> and they want to um, be happy with you. They got hope for you. And they got hope that you're going to be a success. And they might be going to offer you an opportunity or give you a reward. Lucky, you might be going to win some money. Oh, and, and they're going to show you that you're a person of high honors, number 25. And they want to tell you that you're very loyal and they want to be your companion and they want to be close to you. They want to be your friend and they just want to be warm and faithful and trustworthy with you. Oh, I love it, Spirit. Don't you love that? You love it, Virgo? I do too. But remember, you might have to uh, go to court with somebody. That's what it said. And I don't know about all this mob. This Chuck that is in the mob that went off on a rent in May. And in July, he got shoved down a hill. P.S. I don't know what that means. But if you all know, you can let me know. All right. I love you, Virgos. And peace. Please hit subscribe.